So a viewer is concerned about uh, the corrections budget and, and uh, is concerned about protecting friends and family who work in the, cor in the corrections department. Of course, this is a direct reflection on some tragedies that have occurred mm -hmm. in the, within the last year, essentially. Um, anybody want to take a run at that, what we might see on that? Should we start with you, Senator? Yeah, you know, I have kind of a different, uh, uh, interesting perspective on this. I went out to uh, Moose Lake on the corrections side uh, about six months ago with now Commissioner but former uh, Senator Lori and went to visit uh, some gentlemen on some uh, innovative work they're doing on circles and rehabilitative stuff and kind of getting uh, folks ready to re return. Restorative justice. Uh, restorative justice kind of stuff. Like that, right, yeah. um, and I asked them to raise their hand who was there on a parole or probation violation, no new offense. Mm -hmm. And about 75% of them were there. Mm -hmm. So I think if we could do some work on parole, how long our parole are, is, and do some work on trying to keep people in the community and not sending them back. Now, if they need to be there, they have a new offense. Uh, if they're violent, they need to be there. So along with what corrections is going to come in to say that they need more money for more officers, I also think we need to do some reform and make sure that the right people are there and the folks that actually need, that are actually violent and we need to really watch are there and those that have maybe made a slip up along the way or didn't exactly follow what they need to do, we get them out. I think a balance of those two things, I was talking to um, our new Governor Walz's wife, Gwen Walz, and she's done some work on that. And I think a balance of that will help make sure that we protect the guards, the citizens, but we also are making sure that we're doing some rehabilitative stuff and getting folks in the community. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, this is certainly a bipartisan issue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, part of it is staffing. We want to make sure there's enough staffing levels to make sure that folks are safe. I mean, that's a primary concern. I know Representative Considine is heading up a committee that's looking at that in ways to make sure that when we've got our folks in there who's doing that very difficult mm -hmm. And dangerous job, quite frankly. You're working right in there with the prisoners that you have the staffing levels, but also you've got the measures to keep those folks safe. Yeah, you know, I agree. I think uh, it is a, a bipartisan issue. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, just visiting with, you know, probation officers in my district, you know, they're very concerned about, you know, just the funding level of promises made, promises maybe not always kept when it comes to, uh, you know, we've done a lot of work in the tax areas when it comes to county program aid, uh, you know, LGA for cities, but also there's other areas within the system that maybe we're not doing what we should and not funding probation officers the way they should because, you know, really the state, you know, if it's our goal to not have people in prison, if it's our goal to reintegrate people so they're not to, going to reoffend, we also have to have a, re you know, a re uh, robust system of support, both from a family's perspective but also from a state perspective. But also keep people safe. I mean, Minnesota's a, a state per capita, I think, has actually got a fairly low mm -hmm. prison population. And uh, from what that means and how that goes forward, uh, you know, obviously, you know, uh, just going to speak from southwest mm -hmm. Minnesota a little bit. Just, you know, if we are going to be talking about new facilities, that, you know, Appleton Prison is a, a big conversation and part of that. I know that may not be a popular well, around this table. That was, was in the talking point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I was wondering you know, how long it take for you to work that Well, in. you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I think that needs to be part of the conversation because, uh, you know, modern facilities. And we have a question about that, actually, okay. whether or not that might be a possibility that something can come up this session. Yeah, well, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the majority, but I think... Uh, you know, where there's a want and a need, uh, you know, I, I just want it to make sure that it's part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, from a modern facility, I don't think we have a better facility in the state than Appleton, but, you know, the ownership is an issue potentially or whether it's leased and what that means for property taxes for the folks in that part of the state. Um, you know, it's all part of the conversation, and, and we just want to make sure that we're not forgotten.